These are all gifts that I have bought, own, want, or have been gifted already. I really want this one. If you're watching this video and you're the runner in your family, then maybe share this video with your siblings, mother, partner, in the hope that they take inspiration and maybe, just maybe, buy you something you actually want instead of that Boots Lynx Africa gift pack that nobody wants. All prices are what I googled at the time of making this video. So the first item on this list is £3, a selection of colourful Primark baseball caps. They keep the sun off your head and the sweat out of your eyes. I also have long hair, so I wear caps to keep my hair out of my eyes. They don't need to be expensive, they just need to be cheap and colourful. Next on the list, $5.99, is anti-friction bum chafing cream I bought from Decathlon. I go through this stuff like water on long runs. I smear it everywhere that rubs and it's a game changer. If you're a runner, you know. I'd rather run barefoot than forget this stuff. My next item is this 10 pounds, if I can reach it. So this 10 pound run in your first marathon training book. This was the first full training book I bought and I used. It made a huge difference, especially as a complete beginner to run in. Uh, and it's also partly responsible for why I now cycle as part of my run in training routine. I was able to plan and track my progress. It gave me the focus and discipline to get through my first big marathon challenge. So my next item, are these $10 sunglasses. The pair I wear have the Google logo on the side. I purchased these in San Francisco in the gift shop of Google's main headquarters. The weekend I quit alcohol for good and decided to sign up for a really hard challenge that changed my life. These sunglasses are special for that reason. They only cost 10 bucks. Not the best on the market, but they're proof that you don't need to spend hundreds. When the going gets tough, I remind myself of the story behind them and that helps me get through whatever challenge I'm on at the time. Um, so yeah, so these these are just a, a decent pair of sunglasses. Well, they're not even that decent. They just keep the sun out of my eyes. So then I had this book that cost me £12. Relentless Forward Progress, a guide to running ultramarathons by Brian Powell. This book helped me believe that I can run an ultramarathon and inspired me to the start line of this year's 100k Thames Path Challenge. It's also why I keep shouting Relentless Forward Progress to the camera when I get really tired. Then I've got this book, Eat and Run by Scott Jurek. It cost me $12.99. The book inspired me to want to start running and to try an ultra distance for the first time. It's also one of the reasons I am vegan uh, and it was the first time I ever heard of a vegan athlete or at least someone who was vegan that ran a lot. I've then got this small NGT zip up fishing weights bag. It cost me £15. I bought it from a fishing website. I use it because it's waterproof and it's great for keeping my first aid kit where I store all my first aid bits and bobs for big events and day to day running. There's something to be said about having everything you need in one place without having to search for it, especially if you're in pain or you're bleeding. Next on my list are these in dingy running socks. They cost me £17. These are probably the best socks I've ever worn. Just the sensation of putting them on is worth the 17 pounds alone. They completely stop blisters forming on my toes and I don't run any long distances without them now. Next on my list are these Precision Energy Gels. Uh, a pack of Precision Energy Gels cost me 29 pounds. I've used most of them, but I've only got these left. I've tried a lot of other energy gels and these are by far the best in my opinion. Then I've got this greens drink from Love Life Supplements. I use quite a few of their products. This cost me $34.95. And the greens drink without foul is my favorite. I love the stuff. It's high in protein and high in fiber. I swear I've not been ill or had a cold since I started drinking this stuff. It's fantastic. And then next, I've got another fishing item. I bought this from a fishing website. It's a Fox Fishing Brew Kit. It cost me £45 and it's made for those long summer days fishing trips. I use it for long running events where there's a lot of waiting around at the start or the end and my family can make themselves a cup of tea when they're waiting for me to finish. It's small and compact and one of those bits of kit I look forward to getting out of the back of the car at the end of a long running event or if I am early for a winter's day park run. It, you know, it's a fantastic thing to have in the boot of the car just for an emergency cup of tea or coffee then i have my petzl running torch it cost me about 70 quid i think from memory the most comfortable head torch i have ever worn you don't look cool when you're wearing one of these but running in the dark without one is even less cool 
Just make sure that you also buy plenty of spare batteries. I learned that the hard way during my 100K run this year. Then next on my gift list is my 120 pound Solomon running hydration vest and hydration pack, so the bladder. I used to run without one of these, even on long runs. It's eventually I conceded and bought myself one. I now don't like running without one. There is no way you can stay properly hydrated on long runs without a decent hydration vest and bladder, especially on hot summer days. The bladder you have to buy separately, but it's definitely worth the money. Now I've got my favorite running trainers, my Ultra Lone Peak 7 trail running trainers. They have a really wide toe box. I have now run hundreds of miles in them without issue or a single blister. They have also saved my ankles multiple times on early morning dew covered, slippery, wet grass. Then I have my 270 pounds Beats Power Beats Pro Wireless earbuds. I've tried multiple other headphones, including bone conducting and even the Apple earbuds, the small white ones. The Power Beats are superior in every way for running. They're noise counseling, they have deep bass, and they're not tinny at all. So yeah, I pretty much use these when I go out on a training run. Then probably my favorite bit of kit on this list, my Garmin Phoenix 7X sports watch. By far, the, probably the best investment into my running I've ever made. It's completely revolutionized how I train and how I now plan for my long runs. I've had several other cheaper running and fitness watches and they don't come close to how good my Garmin Phoenix 7 really is. It cost me just under £700 when I bought it earlier this year. So I've included this one as a bit of fun really, but this is the one that I really want. This is the Sage Barista coffee machine. Not necessarily a running item, but all runners love coffee. That's a known fact. And I drink more coffee than is probably healthy i don't drink alcohol eat meat or sugar my only vice is coffee especially before during and after a race i would love to own a full countertop starbucks style barista coffee machine and is only on this list in case someone from the manufacturer or john lewis are watching and fancy sending me one for review then the last item on my list is my £2,089 Watt Bike Atom. It's a smart trainer that I use with the Zwift software in my garage. It's probably the biggest investment into my running. I bought myself the Watt Bike earlier this year so I could mix up my run training with online cycling. I'm now completely addicted to Zwift and it has revolutionised my running and weight loss routine and has given me another string to my bow. So much so that I've signed up for the London to Brighton bike ride and I don't even own a road bike yet. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you've been sent this video by a family member who's a runner, then please also comment down below if there's anything here that you think is a good idea. I will try and add as many of the items I've mentioned below in my description. Some of them will be affiliate links, so anything you purchase through my links will give me a very, very small commission. We're talking pence, um, but I really appreciate any support. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.